Living on campus can be expensive for many, but a University of Toronto policy is set to be forcing students to leave money on the cafeteria table as the academic year ends. The school's mandatory meal plan policies under scrutiny as students say they're being milked out of thousands of dollars. I have over $2,000 left. Two weeks ago, I had $1,800 left. The fact that I have, you know, $1,300 in my friend's house, well over that amount, um, is quite frankly, it's unacceptable. In some parts of Toronto, that could cover rent. But U of T students say it's instead going into the school's pocket. Those living on residence are required to purchase a meal plan from the school. The lowest option comes with a price tag of over $5,200. Students say if you don't use it by the end of the semester, you lose it all. I know people who have over $2,000, and I believe I only have one or two friends who have used up the entirety of their meal plan. Um, but that required a lot of planning and a lot of giving away food or food waste. The first year students say the meal plan doesn't always accommodate on campus life. After a couple of weeks, I was starting to feel really sick from the food and I thought it would be better to make my own food and I thought I could get a refund, but it turned out that our meal plans were not refundable. They say the rules are inconsistent depending on where you dine. I've bought $600 worth of chips and drinks so far. For instance, at New College, Thomas was given the option to purchase foods in bulk. He says he spent $1,500. In the last two weeks, I bought, uh, I think, like 10 cases of like 24 things of soft drinks. I bought bags of chips. I was like really desperate, right? Because I was like, I, I, was kind of, I was scandalized by the fact that we wouldn't, we, we would just be losing this money. Meanwhile, students at Victoria College say they weren't given any options. You're limited to buying six meals a day, even though we have enough money to buy like 20 or 30. City News reached out to the University of Toronto. A spokesperson says these policies are communicated to students prior to the application process and quote, some residential meal plans offer students the ability to carry over unspent dollars to be used in the future. There are limits attached to these amounts as residential meal plan income is used to cover the cost of operating the dining hall, staffing, facility, equipment and maintenance. These fixed costs are incurred regardless of the amount of food that is consumed. Students say there has been no transparency about how the school uses the money they're forced to leave behind. $2,000 is a quarter of my tuition. I don't know what it's being used for after I leave residence. U of T adds that students can discuss the policy and any financial difficulties with school administrators and access assistance. It's a flawed system, uh, top to bottom, and we end up losing like a lot of money because of it. But the students won't change more cost effective meal plans and options for how to use the remaining balance. The student voice is um, heard, but not perhaps in the way that we would like it to be. Um, change is, is slow to come. We also asked U of T just how much money students are leaving behind on these meal plans. However, we did not get a response to that question at the University of Toronto. I'm Faisa Amin for City News.